Hello everyone and welcome to another e-learning how-to guide. In this guide I will be covering how to create a poll block on Moodle. Now a poll block is a way of having your students vote or rather poll for something on the sidebar of their Moodle course. Now when I say sidebar I mean this bar to the right of the course. Um, so like creating anything on Moodle, it starts with turning editing on, which is done via this button in the top right corner, as you can see. So after clicking that button and scrolling down a bit, you will then see blocks down here. This is almost always on the right, but depends on how your course is configured. But um, yeah, it, it's almost definitely on the right. So from that drop down below blocks, you can then select poll. And this will then add an empty poll block to your page, as you can see here. This is completely empty. You can then click this pencil icon to configure that poll block. And you'll be taken to this screen with four tabs. Now, this first tab is for configuring the actual block as opposed to configuring the poll. So, um, in here you can ignore poll name for now, as you'll come back to that. And you can enter a block title. Um, this can be left as just poll, or you may have a specific name you want to call it. For the sake of this uh, example, I'm going to call it test poll block. Okay, and below that is maximum graph width. Now, you shouldn't need to edit this as the blocks seem to automatically fit the data, so I wouldn't worry about that. You can just click save changes. And as you can see by scrolling down, the name has now taken effect on the poll block and you can then click the configure icon again. Now this time you can go to the second tab create slash edit poll and this presents you with some more options. Now you have the poll name. Um, it's important to remember that the poll name is how you as a teacher will identify which poll is which. The students will not actually see that name at all. So I'm going to call this test poll. And when that's been done, you can move on to the next box, question text. Now this is what the students will see. So in this box, I'm going to put what is your favorite color? OK, um, and then below that, you have two drop downs, the first being eligible users. From this drop down, you can select who will actually be able to take part in your poll. Your options are all, students, or teachers. For this example, I'm going to select all. And the last box is option count. This is how many options for answers there will actually be for the poll. So I'm going to choose eight. And you can then save those changes, and the empty option boxes will appear below. So I'm going to put some data into these boxes. Okay, and you can then save those changes again. Now you can go back to the first tab again, configure block, and select the poll name of the poll you just created. Okay, and then save those changes again. And you can now see the poll I've just created. So to test this out, I'm going to select orange and submit that result. And yep, you can now see the responses from the poll. As you can see, orange one. Okay, so you can now go back into editing that. And you have these other two tabs, manage polls and view responses. Now managing polls allows you to uh, view each of the polls you've created, edit them, or delete them. Uh, you also have the view responses tab which allows you to in detail select your poll and see who has submitted exactly what answer. So um, thank you for watching, that's how you create a poll on Moodle.